Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be my 37 week update, possibly my last pregnancy update, which I'm kind of feeling bittersweet about because last baby and I'm trying to enjoy this pregnancy as, as long as I can, but I'm done. I'm over it. I'm in pain. I'm ready to get this over with, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this um this update and also i'm um, at the end of the video i'm going to talk about how um, methods that i that help me dilate really quick so if you're interested in this video stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i have new content coming once baby is here and yeah let's get into this vlog so baby is about six to seven pounds and for my 35th week appointment i had an ultrasound done just to check um the weight and the growth because he was kind of underweight um he tripled his weight to six pounds so that was at 35 35 weeks and i'm 37 weeks so i'm pretty sure he he's about seven if yes yeah, seven say i give it seven pounds so i'm expecting a seven pounder or eight pounder um baby um, he's about 19 to 20 inches long and that is about from here to about here if I'm measuring crown to rump that is 19 inches that is a big baby I definitely feel him in my ribs now <laughs> so it's very uncomfortable um my 35th week appointment i failed my i had the ultrasound and the gvs test i will make sure to put the right correct name i don't know right now <laughs> but the the test where they swab for bacteria and all of that um i failed it and it's nothing like too major they're just gonna give me antibiotics once i go into labor with him um at 35 at my 35th week appointment um we talked about dilation he checked me to see if i was dilated my service was completely closed and so we talked about a birth plan since the hospital that i'll be delivering at is 45 minutes to an hour away so i told him you know let's just go ahead and discuss some birth plans just in case i want to make it to the hospital because my last labor only was an hour i I started labor and then I pushed her out within minutes so I want to be able to make it to the hospital so we talked about some options and he told me that if I would dilate by 36 and 37 weeks to at least three centimeters then we would talk about induction on 38 or 39 so I was like, cool, doc. That's all you had to say. You know, I'll, <laughs> we're going to get on that. It was my 36-week appointment because, like I said, you have it every week. And he checked to see if I was dilated. And, guys, I was dilated two centimeters. Okay. Pat myself on the back. And I will be telling you guys how I dilated that fast within a week's time at the end of this video. So please continue to watch. Um, so, so far I have gained 28 pounds, which I'm not a big weight person. I mean, either I lose it or I gain it. It's fine with me. I never went more than 150. So, right now I'm at 148. So, I might go a little above that. But, it's no big deal to me. I'm not really concerned about my weight. Um, some symptoms that I've been having since my third trimester. Um, back pains. And they call it back labor. I've never experienced back labor in none of my pregnancies so back labor truly sucks um it's the worst thing ever i would really have contractions in the front only and not in my back because my back hurts so bad so if you see me moving it's because my back is hurting really 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 bad and that's been happening for about three weeks now um it's getting to the point where it's just really excruciating so i have to take um tylenol to try to manage it but it's not working um i've been losing my mucus plug day by day i just had like um some a tinge of blood in it yesterday so um that's a good thing because i really didn't notice it the last two pregnancies so hey losing mucus plug i've been having lots of contractions front and back nothing consistent i wish they would stay consistent but nothing really too 
too painful or too consistent um constipation now my bowel has been really disrespectful from beginning all the way to the beginning of my third trimester and now all of a sudden i want to like it's like okay we got no more to give so we're just gonna make you constipated and i'm like come on now <laughs> i've been having diarrhea since the beginning and now i'm constipated yeah horrible but another one is insomnia i've been having insomnia my sleep pattern is really crazy i wake up every morning at six or seven o'clock my body won't let me sleep past sleep past 7 30 which whatever is pre basically preparing me for the baby so um leaking your girl is leaking guys and when i say not leaking amniotic fluid i'm talking about leaking you know, and I've never peed on myself before, but he's so low that he's on my bladder that when I walk now, that I just drip, drip, drop, you know, and now I have to wear pads, which is a little uncomfortable, but I don't want nobody to know that I'm peeing on myself. So yeah, this pregnancy needs to hurry up and be done. But that's pretty much it, all the symptoms that I've been having. Uh, my body is really preparing itself for labor. I feel it. It's going to come any day now, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm super excited for that. But, like I said, it's a bittersweet moment. I want to hold on to this pregnancy as long as I can. But it's getting too painful for me. Uh, third, last baby. And, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind of emotions are going through my head right now, guys. But I'm going to move on to um, how I dilated really fast within a week's time. So if you watched my past video, then you know that I took evening primrose oil with my last pregnancy. And I started like at 35 weeks. So once he told me that I wasn't dilated, I didn't, I didn't actually start the primrose oil yet. I bought it, but I didn't start it. So that day, I got this brand this is the brand that i'm using and i in i never took this insert i never swallowed this yeah consume this i don't oh yeah you can consume i've heard people consume this like they'll take three and then insert two or whatever but i just also i just always stuck a hole in it inserted um up my vajay and that worked for me um i started doing three um in the morning and three at night and that kind of helped him if you don't know anything about evening primrose oil it's supposed it doesn't put you into labor per se but it helps your cervix thin out and it helps you to dilate and it helps um with easy labor so they say um so yeah to start taking evening primrose oil then i started walking I'll take the evening primrose oil in the um at nighttime, and then around about seven, you know, when the sun is going down, like seven, eight o'clock, and then after I take the evening primrose oil, you better make sure you gotta put on a pad now, and then I'll just walk around the neighborhood. I'll do my um my walk, and then I'll feel him like descend more into my birth canal, and so that's a good way to help your um cervix thin out and to help you dilate, and then also sex. Yeah, I said it, adult wrestling, that helps you dilate as well. So those are the three things that I did. Sex, evening primrose oil, and I walked. I walked my butt off. In the mall, I was with the mall, um, like in the morning, I'll go to the mall, and I was with the mall walkers, you know, the senior citizens, and we were walking and talking, and I, <laughs> just to walk this baby down, kind of made it fun and interesting, even though I was tired. I didn't I couldn't keep up with them but I had to walk <laughs> but those are the three things that helped me dilate so far I am gonna try the um evening no no I am gonna try the midwife's brew because I did the castor oil that put me into labor really 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 quick but since my hospital is 45 minutes to an hour away I don't need to be going into the into labor that quick and still at home so i'm gonna try the midwives brew 
I don't think I'm gonna do a video on it but if I could catch myself doing it and vlog and we'll see we'll see how that goes but that's about it you guys um, I'm gonna stand up and do a belly shot don't judge me because my stomach is low and it looks weird <laughs> but yeah all right guys this is 37 weeks I am Forty two inches around, which I that came fast. So he's low. I'm ready for this to be over. So, yeah. So that was my belly guys. As you can see, I am big and I'm ready to drop because I do not want to buy no more clothes. But thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you um, some information on how to dilate, which I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a physician, medical, medical physician. So you do these things at your own risk. It worked for me and it might not work for you, but it doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video, which probably will be my labor and delivery vlog.